I'm Andrew Miller and can I uh, welcome you to the college, I'm the college principal. Um, this is uh, a new applicant's evening. We run two or three of these evenings and we've had significantly large numbers attending. We weren't expecting that many this evening so it may look a bit sparse around the hall um, but we were only expecting about 100 people so thanks for being here. Particularly warm welcome to any parents or carers because I think you'll find it very interesting too. This evening is another part of that journey in finding out more about what the college uh, has to offer when you, when you become a student, some of the support and guidance and help that, that's available, um, particularly in terms of, of what you can do next, in terms of moving on to higher level courses, uh, and also you'll hear tonight from uh, some of our students and student ambassadors about the college and actually what it's really like, so that, that they'll, they'll tell you too uh, some of the things that happen in the uh, in the, in the college. We are a successful college and I think one of the most important reasons we are successful is that the, the range of support that we provide to students uh, whilst they're at college, and that can range from anything from support with, with, their, with, with their learning uh, to, to support for, for financial matters and other things that are going on outside their life. There is a, a, an excellent wraparound service that we provide that our students appreciate. So as well as excellent teaching and learning, there's a whole range of other services that you'll be able to tap into. And also to understand the sorts of things that goes on in the college externally around your teaching. Um, it's a great place to be, there's lots going on, and you'll hear this evening from one or two more staff and some students exactly how college life works. Please ask questions if there's anything tonight you're not sure about. We have staff on hand in the avenue from each of the vocational areas, so it doesn't matter what course you're doing, There'll be somebody here to answer any questions uh, on it or, any, or any queries you have about next year. Uh, so please stay at the end and ask. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be delighted to try and uh, provide information to you. So I hope you enjoy the evening. I'll, I'll be around a bit later to, to answer any questions. I want to hand over to my colleague now, Amanda, who will uh, explain the programme. Good evening everyone and uh, I'd like to echo Andrew's welcome. My name is Amanda Burnside and I'm responsible for um, well, all support services for students in the college. So um, it's particularly important and I'm particularly glad to see you all here tonight. Um, what we're going to do tonight, as Andrew said, we're just going to, I'm just going to start in a moment with a short film which touches on some of the things that um, you can expect when you actually start at college, just some sort of practical advice. And then as Andrew said, we'll be talking to our um, ambassadors. And then um, my colleague Dave Corcoran, there, sorry, not over there. Um, he's going to talk to you about specifically about student support and student finance. And then right at the end, we'll see a film um, about some um, sort of celebrations on film to give you an idea of how we celebrate student achievement at the college. Happy, very happy to take questions, Andy said. But and again, if you've got anything specific relating to a course or student finance or transport, then there are staff or additional learning support, then there are staff on hand outside. And we do also appreciate there's an awful lot of information to take in. So um, we put everything that you might need to know on the website. And on your chairs there's a leaflet with links that specifically with information for parents. And you'll also see on the uh, front of the website that if you click on, a, you go onto the front page of the website, it says Parent Zone. And you can go in there and, and specifically find out information about starting. Um, if you don't have access to a computer or the internet, you can just call into our advice and guidance teams at any time and they'll provide all the information you need and print out anything you require. Um, we've got tutors, as we say, on the stands and additional learning support out there. And also, if you do have time, please tonight go and visit the Learning Resource Centre on the first floor, which is a truly impressive um, learning area and uh, which you'll be studying in. And right at the end, I'll just put up some dates on the, on the screen which are about enrolment and the grades check days that you'll be invited to. It's just important to get kind of clear that there's a whole sequence of events before you finally come into college. Nothing too onerous, but we do need to check your grades and make sure that you're on the right course. Right, without further ado, I'm going to go on to the film. And I'm just going to... Just bear with me while we do this interesting stuff. There we are. Right, so... Hey, I'm Sarah. I'm studying Forensic Science. Hopefully I'll see you in September. Here are some of my friends to tell you about what life is like at Swindon College. Your course at Swindon College is important. You're on the right course, so you are happy with what you're doing. 
you don't get the GCSEs you were hoping for, then come along to Swindon College on Great Checks Day because they'll have a course for you. Swindon College supports you for your whole time here. You'll have a personal tutor you can talk to from anywhere from college work to home life. The college also supports you from finance, counselling and careers. Here at Swindon College you're expected to respect each other and be punctual and be committed and that also helps you meet targets and all your deadlines. Swindon College is a very comfortable place to be. Even though you are asked to turn your phones off during class and that you are told to turn up to lessons on time, there is a certain feeling that you are treated like an adult. During the course you have to keep up with work, but if any case that you cannot keep up with work, the tutors are on hand to give you help if you need it. And don't worry parents and guardians, you will be kept up to date with regular parents evenings, reports and reviews, timetable and assessment plans, and individual learning plans. And if you're worried at any time, you can always phone up. If you are not well or going to be really late, just ring the absence hotline or email the college. Just let your tutor know. Just to inform you, no drugs or alcohol are allowed in the college. Also, if you are a smoker, you have to smoke in the designated areas as the college is a non-smoker campus. Bullying and abusive behaviour, racism of any kind, drugs and alcohol, swearing and antisexual behaviour are not acceptable at Swindon College. And they're not cool. Swindon College has a great student enrichment centre, which has many things from Xboxes to Wii's to pool tables to ping pong tables. As a varied amount of things, even organised trips to places like Fort Park and if you're going like shopping, even organised trips to London. As well as that, you meet a very, various amount of people from various courses and it's always a fun place to be. As well as that, Swindon College has an LRC centre, which stands for Learning Resource Centre, which has books on various subjects, as well as ability to be able to put book a computer and various online tools. When you start out at Swindon College, there is plenty of support to help you prepare for your next steps. Whether it's work or higher education, there is a great careers team who will help you and advise you about your future. Whether it's finding the right course for you, apprenticeships or filling out UCAS forms. Right, now it's time to, to meet some of the real life students. Now online. Okay. Let's start with Sarah. Would you just tell me a bit about her? Hi everyone. Um, as Amanda said, I'm Sarah. Um, I'm studying forensic science here at college, and um, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> we get to do so many different things. Um, in one of our units, we got to um, plan and then carry out our own experiment. Um, and because I'd like to be a crime scene investigator, I chose to do blood spatter. So I was able to conduct a whole blood spatter experiment, flicking fake blood around the lab and then analysing what you could tell from that. Um, starting at college can be a bit scary, you know, being thrown into a room full of people that you don't know, but you're all on the same course together, so you've all got something in common already. And um, everyone here is really helpful. Um, there's a lot of help and support available if you just ask for it. Okay. What about if you've got any worries or concerns in college? Do you, what, what would you do? Um, the first thing you do is talk to a tutor who will be really friendly and helpful and will try and kind of find a solution with you rather than just you know throwing something at you. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Do we pass on to Shawana? Hi everyone, uh, I'm Shawana. Um, I started here doing the foundation degree in business management and communications and uh, I was employed so um, I came through my employer and um, did it part time which is another great thing about Swindon College is that you can do the course part time as well, just as well as, as full time um, and it's through Oxford Brooks University which is great so you get a recognised qualification at the end of the day as well. Um, and it was so good, the teachers were amazing, the college was really good, really accommodating. We've got like a HE student area, which is brilliant. So we get our own little private area, private access. 
really cool computers and everything. So we get like a little bit of extra VIP treatment as well, which is kind of nice. Um, and then also on top of that, um, you still have connections with the university as well. You still get to go to the university and attend seminars and stuff as well. Um, I, once I finished that, I did the top up um, to get my honours. Um, so I did that this year and I just finished last week. And um, it's just a really good, really good all-round course. You get to do, you know, study different areas of business management, like from finance to business strategy to marketing, um, so many different areas, and then you can go into so many different, like, you know, so such an employability sort of course as well. So there's so many different venues and avenues that you can go into afterwards. So it is, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed it, and the, te the teachers were absolutely amazing. You get a really nice sort of classroom set up where there's nice small classroom and you know teaching is really good as well. Um, what would you say about the overall environment at the college? Um, it's really nice, it's a nice mixture because as I came in as a HE student, um, I thought oh FE so it's going to be lots of youngsters and stuff but it's a really nice all round sort of um, place really, you know they accommodate everybody from different age groups to different cultures to different backgrounds from disabilities to anything really. And they're really, really accommodating for everything. Thanks very much. Do you want to pass over to Chris? Good evening. I'm Chris. Um, I'm an ex-student. I'm currently working in Swindon, uh, Swindon College now in the sports department. Um, I came to college in 2004 uh, out of school. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, so I did a year on vocational studies, which allowed me then just to get a taste of various um, other areas within the college. Um, and then I progressed on to BTEC Sport um, just as a year course. Then I progressed on to um, Sport and Outdoor Education National Diploma, which then, whilst I was doing that, I was able to apply for university. Um, so when I left school, I didn't really have that option. So that's, that was the biggest um, um, op uh, option for me in terms of like, progressing further in, in life. Um, and then I went off to, to university to study a foundation degree in sports coaching and graduated last year with a top up in a top up degree in sports coaching. Brilliant. And now Chris, as he says, is working with us come full circle. Yeah, I um, work yeah, full time in the sports department as a learning support, basically just in assisting classes, organising trips, organising work experience and I'm progressing on to do some sort of teaching next year uh, for sport. Brilliant. Uh, it's really nice, thank you very much everybody. What's really important about understanding about coming to college is that you can progress on at college, as you can hear, that it isn't like school. There's, we go all the way through up to master's level, actually, in terms of qualifications. And uh, people, young people like Chris, who came to us on vocational studies, which is actually an entry-level programme, um, has progressed, as you heard, all the way through the education system to a degree. So, you know, whatever level you're coming in on, we want you to aim high, and that's very much what we're about as an organisation, raising ambition. Um, so we really do want you to, to, to think high and, and come to us wanting to get the very best you can out of the college, because we're here to, to provide that for you. Right, going back to my programme, I'm going to hand over to Dave now, who is um, responsible for our support services and all our students' Um, well-being in the college and he's just going to talk to you a little bit more about some things that we've got in place for you. Uh, hi everyone, it's like big sister, so much I was just watching from where you're uh, standing and or sitting rather. Um, I, I need to sort of pick between the gaps really because um, a lot of information has already been put out there and so I'm going to concentrate on uh, finance information which might be the most relevant for some of you tonight just to see what uh, financial support might be in place for you when you come here. But if I could just uh, refer back to what I've got here first. I just wanted to touch on induction first. One of the first things you'll have as soon as you get here um, is uh, an induction program, which will be with your uh, area. And there's different elements within that. So as has already been mentioned, you'll be uh, aligned against a tutor, and that tutor really is your first point of contact. And there's other uh, contact methods in college. We have something called uh, SEMS, which are student experience managers, who really support uh, our curriculum areas and the individual students as well. And so it's quite a tight mechanism to uh, take you through. Um, one of the things we're doing this year as well, uh, just as a point of interest for you, is we're looking at a more detailed welcome pack. So we're trying to get a, a package together at the moment which is going to involve uh, something new for students as they come in, which is giving out a, a USB stick with a, a lever arch file with your pad and pens 
as a package, uh, as a welcome into college. And then that uh, USB stick also has your handbook on it, so you'll be able to access that, the spare capacity on the USB stick, so you'll be able to save your assignments to that. And uh, it, that's uh, just a nice uh, extra that we're doing alongside Stagecoach as a partnership there. Uh, the Freshers Fair also takes place in that first week, that's on a, a Wednesday, and that's really trying to offer um, everything around your curriculum. So it's looking at all the sort of um, support uh, packages you may be interested in, and then, so that could include things like enrichment activities, all those sort of things that uh, some of the guys have mentioned. Um, and in fact, Chris was talking to me just on the way in about uh, looking at putting on a, a five or six aside uh, football league that will run through the year, and that will be something that will come out of the sports department, which we will work together on. And there's those sorts of things that will uh, happen there. Um, the other sorts of things you'll get there is information around uh, um, health and uh, social issues, as well as fun activities on that day. So that should be a good one in the first week. Um, one of the other things that um, we uh, just need to be able to get across to you is just how important the partnership is for us, and I believe it will be for you as well, uh, between uh, you as students, uh, you as parents, and us as the college. And working together as uh, three uh, entities going to that partnership, it's very strong. Where, where it uh, weakens sometimes is if everyone isn't on board or communicating with each other and all moving in the same direction. So we uh, very much appreciate your uh, being here tonight because uh, it's clearly showing that commitment and we hope that we can work with you very strongly going into the uh, new year as well. And as was mentioned, we have got a parent line and an absence hotline and that will encourage that communication. And you should let us know at any time if you're not happy about something as well and then we can uh, fix that uh, quickly hopefully. The thing I wanted to mainly concentrate on then was uh, student finance and I'm just going to touch on two other things at the end. Um, for some of you, uh, there can be potential barriers coming to college, and those potential barriers could be the cost of transport, it could be the cost of your equipment uh, to uh, do your course, so if you're looking at something like catering, as an example, you'd need your chef whites, uh, your equipment to be able to do that course, uh, and other equipment. Now what we're looking at doing is we've got two thresholds, and I'm very happy to discuss those individual thresholds with you rather than with you as a, as a group. And I'm just going to be opposite reception on your way out with a colleague, Sue. And with those two thresholds, we're hoping that we'll be able to pay um, for people that are below a particular household income 100% of those equipment costs. And we're also hoping that we can pay 100% of transport costs if you're outside a three mile uh, uh, radius. And that will go in the equivalent of a bus pass. We also recognise that some people are receiving uh, free school meals at school and there's a, a slight dependency on that because of the income that's coming into the house. So what we're also looking at doing is looking at a voucher or an equivalent system in college where you would get support for that if you're below that sort of threshold. And we also recognise that there's always going to be exceptions. Some people might be just outside that threshold and so on. So we'll always look at an individual case. Um, but if you want to talk those uh, through with us, we're very happy to do so. And incidentally, that also includes things like essential trips. So taking the art area, for example, they've got an essential trip to London, and it's a key part of their course, so of course we'll support that in the same way. Now, I don't want to give the wrong message that everything's a freebie, because it's, we, we've, it's a limited resource, and we've got to give it out to the most needy students and families. Um, but we'll talk that through with you outside, um, unless anyone wants to ask me a question just at the end. The other thing I just wanted to mention briefly was additional learning support. And additional learning support, some of you may have this sort of support in school already, and this is where uh, we're trying to set a level playing field uh, to give you an equal opportunity to achieve as someone without a learning uh, uh, disability or need. So the, the classic easy, easy example to give you would be someone who may have dyslexia. So we'd have support to help you through uh, if you have dyslexia. And actually our stats show that our level of support will actually bring you out at an equal, if not higher level, uh, when you've got that support in long place. So please do, if you've got a learning concern, do identify that to us and we'll work with you to make sure that support's in place. Um, would anyone like to ask me any direct questions now? Otherwise, uh, I will step to the side and see you at the end, if you like. Okay, thank you very much. And I'll be down the end of the corridor on the right. Thanks, Thanks Dave. One thing I should just add, it was picked up on the initial stream, but the, you will be, uh, if, if you are late or absent, it does trigger an automatic absence letter to home. Okay, because we need to monitor. Uh, we know that if you're late, constantly late, or you're not attending, then you won't. You, you will struggle to achieve. So it's really important that we keep on top of that and help you and support you. So um, it's just for your information. 
Right, I'm going to show a short, just to, now sort of ending on a kind of high, I'm just going to show you some, some of the ways we celebrate um, success in the college and then we'll, um, I'll just put those dates up at, at the end of, um, what, and talk to you a little bit about what comes next. No, I'm not, that's not doing that yet. September. Um, before that, there are a couple of things that we'll, we'll need to see you again. Um, majority of you will need to come in for an enrolment day where we give you some more information and we we'll do some work with you. And then finally, we just need to check your grades um, on a grades check day, which I'll just put those dates up now. Um, we will be writing to you with all that and it'll be very clear where you are in the process. If you can't for any reason make those dates because you're on holiday, do not worry. Just need to let us know. We'll arrange a separate appointment for you. So please don't worry about any missing anything. Um, we will be also, hopefully, you'll receive an invitation, or you will receive an invitation to a welcome day in your actual course area, which again, if you're free to attend, we'd love to see you, just so you can get to meet your classmates and things in advance. But again, don't worry if you're on holiday, because I appreciate people will be. Um, the most important point about Grades Check Day is when you get your GCSE results, if they're not what you're expecting for any reason, do not panic, okay? because we are here absolutely to help, and we will support you, we'll talk to you about resets, and we'll find a course for you. So please do come along on those days and don't get yourself upset. Alternatively, you've done fabulously better than you expected. Equally come to us and we'll, and we'll look at the course, you, course level you're currently on. So we're very much flexible around what you need and what you've achieved. But obviously we hope you, you will achieve very highly and, and do really well on that. And I wish you all the best if you haven't uh, already finished. <laughs> um, right, okay, that's the end of the formal bits tonight. Um, <coughs> The uh, staff are outside waiting to talk to you, so please do just go ahead and, and, and go and ask any questions you've got, or otherwise you're free to go. So thank you very much.